What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Place. I'm gonna show you how to get this 24K Golden Challenge completed badge in the game, Build a Boat to Survive. So the link is in the description of the video, guys. Uh, so guys, go into the game. In order to get this, this is part of the badge for the whole 24K Golden thing. Uh, yeah, Build a Boat to Survive is basically like Build a Boat for Treasure. It's almost the same exact game. Like when you go in there, you're like, what is going on here? This is a copy game. But anyways, uh, as soon as you go in there, there's this NPC off to the right here, and that is 24K Golden NPC. So uh, you wanna go up to him and you wanna talk to him, and he's gonna tell you basically that you have to build a boat and get past the El Dorado zone for the badge. So uh, you start out with 250 gold, and uh, it looks like as the time runs down, you get more gold, and also as you build boats, and if you can get down different sections, you can get more gold from doing that as well. Uh, it shows the price of all these blocks on the bottom. You can see the hammer that allows you to put it into build mode. Uh, and then you've got all these options. You've got some of the basic things. You've got like wooden blocks. You've got a seat. You've got wedges. You've got boat control. Uh, might be easier for you guys if you make sure you add a boat control. But you can see in this video, I'm going to make a really simple boat just to see if I can just use some wooden blocks and a seat and a boat that's simple enough so that I can get far enough down in the whole boat thing that I will pass the El Dorado zone. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do this. Uh, pretty simple. Um, if you guys have not played Build a Boat for Treasure before, then you might not know how this works, but if you've played that game before, then this one works exactly the same way. Uh, so wooden blocks seem to be like pretty strong. I wouldn't imagine that the carpet's very strong or the glass either. Uh, the table, not sure why you'd need that. The corner block, um, I tried to kind of pick this up and see what it would do and maybe it would be used as a wedge or something when you need to go around something, but that doesn't really seem to work too well. So uh, I just tried going here to see how many of these blocks I had. And at this point, I have run out of blocks. And if you want to buy more blocks, it is Robux. You can get 500 or more gold. Um, so if you want to buy more gold so you can buy more blocks, then that is Robux. Then the other option, again, is to just take the boat that you have, go further down. And as you have a boat that goes further down the line, then um, you get more and more gold. So uh, you can see right here, I am out of the gold. So I don't have enough for that boat control. Probably should have saved some because with a boat control, you usually can kind of control the direction that you're going. And otherwise you're kind of be sort of in trouble. Uh, you've got this right here if you want to paint it as well. The trash can is if you want to delete any of the blocks. And I believe you'll get the gold back for those blocks if you end up lead, deleting them. So uh, once you want to launch, just sit in your chair if you've got a chair and then you click on the left side where that little boat is and then you just confirm that you want to launch. So once you start launching, you can see that uh, there's there's rocks, there's obstacles inside of the, the river. And if you get hit by those obstacles, they tend to take down one of the pieces of your wood. Uh, some, some things are stronger than others. So you can see like the wood seems to do pretty well against these rocks and it doesn't seem like they get destroyed every time. Uh, after we passed that section, you can see it said 25 gold. So we earned 25 gold for passing that one section. So if your boat's not big enough and you don't want to spend Robux and you want to get gold, you can just kind of keep trying to go and pass as many of these sections as you can, get some more gold, and then try to build on your boat a little bit more. So uh, these rocks, as you can see, a little bit stronger than the other rocks from the first area. And on the right side, you can see that there's a line that says where the, the El Dorado challenge is. So I believe that is the third section basically that you have to get through so first two sections pretty easy uh, if you don't have control of the boat oh okay so third section is the sandwiches and the hot dogs the fourth section is the section that you have to get through so uh, it's okay like what I just did I just stood up and I got on to another area of my boat because it was looking like I was gonna be in trouble that sandwich made me look like I was in big trouble there it got rid of my chair so uh, that hot dog is eating my boat as well. The boat is supposed to be eating the hot dog, but uh, as you watch in the video, if you guys are pretty strategic with how you move around, sometimes if you're just on one block, you can get lucky and survive and get pretty far just on one block. But uh, yeah, if you're off here to the left, you might be lucky. You might not be running into a whole lot of obstacles, uh, but this is the area right here. You can see, look around, there's gold all over, there's pyramids. Same sort of theme with all of this uh, El Dorado challenge stuff for all these different games. So all you have to do basically is get past this fourth section. So you can't just get to it because you can see right there on the right side, it looks like my green bar is past the requirement for the El Dorado thing, but you have to actually go through the whole room. And then right here, after you pass that, you can see it sees you complete the 24K golden challenge. 
And on the bottom right hand side, you've got yourself the badge. And then when you go into the game, then you will have enough badges. Uh, hopefully at this point, we should have enough to get the scythe. And then there should be another game tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, there is going to be the concert. And we're gonna have to check that out and more free stuff that we can get during the concert as well. So uh, make sure you guys are subscribed and you've got the notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.